The need for addiction recovery housing in southern Minnesota is growing, but resources are hard to find. Most recently, the Newell Medical Center announced plans to close its residential addiction services unit. Maddie Paul reports on who will pick up the slack in sober housing in our area. Mankato's Beyond Brink has 67 beds for people looking for addiction recovery housing. Uh, there's definitely a need for that support in our um, community. But the beds fill up fast and the wait list keeps growing. And I hate to say we're stretched thin. We do always encourage everyone to apply 30 to 60 days prior to the need of housing. The demand for residential housing for substance use recovery continues to grow in the greater Mankato area, but some programs have struggled to keep up. The New All Medical Center plans to close its residential addiction services unit after staffing shortages and financial difficulties. The announcement comes just months after Mankato's House of Hope men's drug addiction program closed due to staffing shortages. And the Minnesota Adult and Teen Challenge Addiction Recovery Center continues to look for a Mankato location after pushback this summer to operate on Good Council Hill. But some existing programs like Beyond Brink and New Way say there's still hope for those searching for sober housing. To hear programs that are closing down I know can feel very difficult and very scary, but there is so many resources within our community. Substance use disorder is a disease and everybody comes to treatment and to services at a different spot. And so we just try to meet them where they're at. Although New Way offers inpatient housing in the Minneapolis area, they can provide transportation to those sites for anyone across the state. If somebody is in the Mankato area and, and needs to be in a residential setting, we're pretty low barrier and it would just be arranged through our admissions department to have a driver um, pick that person up. And even though the Newell Medical Center closes housing, the program will offer partial hospitalization and day treatment programs. Plus, Mankato's House of Hope Women's Residential Program is still open. And Beyond Brink expands across the greater Mankato area. To add to our Mankato area capacity within the next year because the need is so great. In Mankato, Maddie Paul, KEYC News Now. The Minnesota Department of Health will host a virtual hearing on October 11th at 6 p.m. on the planned closure of the New Ulm Residential Addiction Services. For more information on that public hearing and information on Beyond Brink and New Ways Residential Program Services, find this story at our website, KEYC.com.